The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has projected the highly transmissible Delta variant as now the dominant strain in the U.S., an expected development that experts have said underscores the need for more Americans to get vaccinated. Projected CDC data for June 20 to July 3 says Delta is expected to account for 51.7% of cases, and President Joe Biden has said the Delta variant is now responsible for a majority of new virus cases in much of the country. The variant's rapid rise comes as some regions of the country see dramatic and concerning spikes in cases, especially areas with low vaccination rates. In Missouri, a temporary ventilator shortage and a public call for help from respiratory therapists came in recent days as the number of hospitalized COVID-19 patients jumped by nearly 30 percent over the 4th of July weekend. The area has low immunization rates and Delta is rapidly spreading throughout the state. The variant, first identified in India, has been blamed for a surge of cases in countries around the globe and led some areas to bring back some pandemic restrictions. Parts of Europe have reinstated travel quarantines and several Australian cities are in outbreak-sparked lockdowns. The vaccines most used in Western countries still appear to offer strong protection against the Delta variant. Costco announced the big-box grocery chain will be ending its weekday senior hours, which have been in place since March 2020, and resuming its regular hours of operation on July 26. Smithsonian Magazine is relaunching its annual Museum Day in September, following the event's cancellation last year due to the coronavirus pandemic. Over 1,000 museums, zoos and cultural centers across the U.S. will waive admission fees for visitors as part of the event. Summertime jobs for teens are on the rebound. According to the predictions of labor market experts, 31.5% of 16 to 19 year olds will have jobs this summer. Dartmouth Hitchcock Health, New Hampshire's only academic health system and the state's largest private employer, is shifting to a remote by design approach, in which up to 2,000 employees will keep working remotely in some capacity even after the coronavirus pandemic. The African country of Zimbabwe is re implementing strict lockdown measures staying home and permission letters from employers, to combat a resurgence of COVID-19 amid vaccine shortages, the country's information minister announced Tuesday. A program in Rhode Island is using increases in COVID-19 vaccinations to give back to local charities. Under the COVID-19 Vaccination Incentive Fund, for every 5,000 additional people who get a first dose of a vaccine, an increasing amount of money will be granted to nonprofits in the state. Keep refreshing this page for the latest news. Want more? Sign up for our Coronavirus Watch newsletter for updates to your inbox and join our Facebook group.